We called it The Traveller, and its arrival changed us forever. Great cities were built on Mars and Venus. Mercury became a garden world. Human lifespan tripled. It was a time of miracles. We stared out at the galaxy and knew that it was our destiny to walk in the light of other stars. But the Traveler had an enemy. A darkness which had hunted it for eons across the black gulfs of space. Centuries after our golden age began, this darkness found us. And that was the end of everything. But it was also a beginning. safe here. I have to get you to the city. Hold still. Don't worry. I'm still with you. We need to move. Fast. It's been here a while. Hasn't made a jump in centuries. We're lucky the Fallen haven't completely picked it clean. Will it fly? I can make it work.
Welcome to the last safe city on Earth. The only place the traveler can still protect. It took centuries to build. Now, we're counting every day it stands. And this tower is where the Guardians live. I used to look up here at night and wonder what the Hive were doing. But the only activity I could ever pick up was hazy, like it was blocked or buried. There's nothing left. Not even the light. Where's his ghost? to move back. There was a time when we were much more powerful, but that was long ago. Until it wakes and finds its voice, I am the one who speaks for the traveler. You must have no end of questions, Guardian. In its dying breath, the traveler created the ghosts to seek out those who can wield its light as a weapon. Guardians to protect us and do what the Traveler itself no longer can. What happened to it? I could tell you of the great battle centuries ago. How the Traveler was crippled. I could tell you of the power of the darkness, its ancient enemy. There are many tales told throughout the city to frighten children. Lately, those tales have stopped. Now, the children are frightened anyway. The darkness is coming back. We will not survive it this time. Its armies surround us. The Fallen are just the beginning. What can I do? You must push back the darkness. Guardians are fighting on Earth and beyond. Join them. Your ghost will guide you. I only hope he chose wisely. I did. I'm sure of it. We're in this together now. Urgent transmission incoming on all channels. From the speaker. Nothing is more important now. We believe the Hive are engaged in a ritual that is draining the Traveler of its light. 
Whatever power they wield must be understood. You're interesting. Not entirely interesting, but you have promise. Who is that? I don't know. I'm losing the signal. Guardian, I know what you're about to do. It's brave. But there are enemies out here you would not believe. Out where? Go down and face the hive. And if you live, come find me. Signal dropped. I got some broken coordinates. Venus, Northern Hemisphere, Ishtar region. Great. What do we do now? We go down. Our new friend must have access to extraordinary methods to have reached out to us like that. The radio message she sent came from somewhere in the jungles of Venus. This colony was built by the Ishtar Collective. Records say they once studied ruins older than humanity itself. We thought this was all lost in the collapse. Well fought. You're here. We haven't got much time. Who are you? Why have you been watching us? I don't even have time to explain why I don't have time to explain. I will. I will. I know. Will what? I wasn't talking to you, little light. I'm a ghost, actually. Many guardians fell. Strong ones. But you made it here. Yes, I'm listening. They are here. With me. Who's she talking to? Understood. You need my help, Guardian. Is that why you brought us here? They brought us here. The Vex. Evil so dark it despises other evil. You're not a guardian. No. I was not forged in light. But I believe where our paths cross, ground could break. Have you heard of the Black Garden? We've heard the legends. The greatest threat to us all lies there. Where these machines are born. Find the Black Garden. Rip out its heart. Only then will your traveler begin to heal. Can you help us find it? My path's my own. I can't. If we're going to find the Black Garden, we need to see the Awoken. Ah, yes. The Awoken. Out there wavering between the light and the dark. A side should always be taken, little light. Even if it's the wrong side. Too late returning. How many? Hold position, kill the engines, and don't let them find you. So, how do we find the Awoken? They live all the way out at the edge of the darkness. Last place the light touches. Can't we just stay here with the murderous robots? No, little light. 
Don't do that. come from every ship that could escape fled earth during the collapse they made it this far i guess they died out here it's a graveyard how did the awoken survive no one knows intruder bearing 127 you have crossed into the realm of the awoken state your business or be fired on by order of the queen don't look at me. Better say something. We are from Earth. We are here to seek the counsel of the Awoken. Conform to my trajectory. Any deviation will be taken as an act of aggression. Looks like we're in the right place. Why is the right place always so terrifying? So, these are the trespassers demanding an audience. We didn't mean to trespass. The Queen herself judges who may or may not enter the realm. Me? I see no reason she should be available for whatever washes up at the reef. But here we are. We've come to ask for help. <laughs> It is afraid of the fallen. It does not understand these ones are mine. Apologies. Your grace. I am a guardian from Earth. We're searching for the Black Garden. Why? We seek to destroy the darkness at its heart. You want to turn it into a battleground? How unimaginative. Do you know where it is? Everyone knows where it is. The hard part is getting in. Can you help us? And why would we do that? The Queen requests counsel with her brother. That's good. Why not? We'll make you a key. How's that? All we need is the head of a Vex Gate Lord. A Gate Lord? Yeah, we. Why do you want a Vex head? Oh, we don't. And I doubt we'll get one either. But it's your only hope of getting into the Black Garden. We will return. Or die on Venus. Either way.
It is alive. And still has its ball. There is no shame in running away, Guardian. Apart from the cowardice and failure of it, it's an excellent strategy. We didn't run. Was no Gate Lord slain, brother? Oh, we slain a Gate Lord. Ghost? We need to find the Black Garden. <laughs> they don't even know where it is. Let us tell them. Search the Gate Lord for that which gains them entrance. Why? If you wish them certain death, just kill them here. Often when we guess at others' motives, we reveal only our own. My motive is simply loyalty to a people, a queen, and a sister. Then please, take what is required. Dead, unfortunately. A wasted journey, I'm afraid. Perhaps. But I think these ones are resourceful. We gift it, in sympathy for their traveler. Mars. 84 North, 32 East, Meridian Bay. I have shown you benevolence, Guardian. Should the Awoken ever need an ally, I will call on you. And expect you to answer. She's saying you owe us, Guardian. I understand. Your Grace. Good luck! Getting through the exclusion zone. All we need is permission to enter as a gate lord. Nothing. Or everything. I don't think I have a choice.
For centuries we feared the forces of darkness massing against us. We sought to hide and cower beneath a broken god. No more. These guardians show us what we are, what we have always been, and what we will be again. We are what remains of the light, and we will not be stamped out. It's a day for pretty speeches and medals, but we know the real fight takes place out there. Take this. There's so much more, Guardian. I've seen terrible things born out in the darkness. Every moment brings them closer. All ends are beginnings. Our fight is far from over. of us went down into the pit. Only one crawled out. I am Eris, the last. I have seen what the Hive called a god. Rota, son of Oryx. He took everything from me. He will turn his eyes to Earth. And only a true weapon of the light can stop his wrath. The Guardians have grown stronger among the light. The destruction of the Black Garden's heart was... impressive. And to challenge a Hive Prince... brave indeed. But now our Queen welcomes them here to fight alongside the Awoken? Guardians could be quite useful dealing with these traitorous fallen wolves. Prepare the feed across all open channels. Attention, Guardians. This is Petra Bench of the Awoken Royal Guard. Multiple bounties have been issued on key fallen targets. The Reef is now open to you. Fallen sought to destroy us. I protected the reef. In the end, they all bowed before me. We showed them mercy and offered them a home amongst the awoken. They met that mercy with betrayal. 
now. They will feel my wrath. Open the reef to the Guardians. I was born the moment the Traveler died, as everything collapsed around us. Before that day, there had never been a ghost. There had never been a Guardian. I don't know much about the Traveler, but I know it made me to bring you back. And I spent a really, really long time searching for you. The Cosmodrome? Not the first place I looked. As I saw the other ghosts find their guardians, and the centuries went by, I wondered if I'd ever find you. And then... I did. I remember everything about the day I was born. I still bear the scars. The Awoken are my family now. And I am their queen. Keep our beautiful creation safe. And now this beast has come, claiming to be king. Marasav bows to no one. You and I know how this ends. We've known since you escaped from that pit. Guide them, my hidden friend. It is all up to you now.
Guardian, this is Commander Zavala. The Cabal base on Phobos is blasting a signal across all channels. They're willing to break transmission silence. This could be a prelude to a full-scale assault. We're setting down on Phobos now. I'll be monitoring your feed, Ghost. Good luck to you both. Zavala, we made it to our ship. We're heading home. My contacts near Saturn say the weapon fired only once. It's not like the Queen to attack a superior force. How could she have known? How could anyone? We need a warlock inside the Dreadnought. Here we go. Our first priority must be to protect the city. Our Guardian got a good look on Phobos. Whatever it was, it turned Cabal against Cabal, wiped out their base in minutes. How long would we last? Until we understand what we're dealing with. They... are taken. Eris, get your rock off my map. It hasn't spoken since Crota fell. It speaks now, because Oryx has arrived. Come to fulfill the final covenant of his son. But why fight the Cabal? Not fighting. Taking. Controlling their will. So we focus on his army. Kill these taken until he's all that's left. Whatever you kill, Oryx will replace. The Dreadnought, then. How do we get past that weapon? Without ending up like the Awoken. I gotta go, uh, see about a ship. Kate. Our discussion is not yet concluded. Oh, I know. That's why I'm leaving. Confirmation. Yep, that's the last one. Port side. Confirmed. Interest in tech, Cade. Isn't this Eris Morn ship? Is it? Huh. You know, you're a true artist. Can't even see the join. <sighs> Cute. But Zavala's got sign off on all launches. Need to log while I'm letting it go. Stargazing tour? Okay. How about an unsanctioned op using modified stealth tech to infiltrate a dreadnought above Saturn's rings so we can knock out its weapons, create a transmat zone, 
and send in the cavalry. How about test flight? They'll be waiting for you when you're ready. Me? <laughs> oh, I'm not flying that thing. It only took one blast from the Dreadnought. When you're through, it'll never fire again. Just don't forget to plant the transmat link so other Guardians can land. Not everybody's got stealth tech and a ship that smells like hive. Good luck, Guardian. Activating stealth drive. I'm picking up fluctuations in the power conduit. Oh, relax. I modified the tech myself. Probably just Saturn's radio storms running interference. It's malfunctioning. Did you break my stealth drive? You think they can see us? Stealth drive would work. It began with Crota. But Crota was only a servant of his father, sent to extinguish the last of the light. The great battle fought for the soul of our world ended in slaughter. The sun was dead. And we invited the wrath of Oryx, destroyer of light, taker of will. Only Ascendant Hive moved between ruptures. To reach Oryx, you must walk in the dying footsteps of his son. You must become Ascendant. My queen, you were right. The Guardian was the key. For the first time, the whispers are silent. It is done. accepted my fate. I will not fail.
we thought we were indestructible. The Lords of Iron. We swore we would do anything to protect the last city. Some of us paid the ultimate price. I am all that remains. Stand with me, Guardian. It is time to avenge my brothers and sisters. Prove yourself worthy, and the Iron Lords will rise again. In the years after the Collapse, the world had no Guardians. It had only Iron Lords. Immortal, fearless, we fought to protect the survivors of a once great age. Our battle was about more than crawling back from the shadows. The Iron Lords would give humanity back its future. Legend, but no one truly knows how the Iron Lords died their final deaths. That was something you had to be there for. To witness. To remember. To know even heroes can die. And survival is not always a victory. Now I am the lone sentry, and my watch is eternal, waiting for the day when whatever we disturbed awakens. The Iron Lords are gone, but our fight is far from over. House of Devils is back, and they're digging into old Golden Age research labs all across the system. This isn't a simple smash and grab. They're on a mission. At first, the Vanguard wasn't particularly concerned. At least, not until the Devils decided to move back into the Cosmic Realm. Now the Devils are shifting a massive amount of resources to an area nearby that's been dark for centuries. Normally, I'd say it's just another day. Except, what's really got everyone talking is that Lord Saladin has left his post at the Iron Banner to take charge of the situation personally. Only rather than go straight to the Cosmodrome, Saladin wants us to investigate an abandoned observatory in the mountains. Very strange. All this trouble to break into an old temple?
Even old wolves still bite. Shiro, what's your status? Circling around to make sure the area is clear. Be there in a sec. Well done, Guardian. The temple is secure. Now we can... Shiro, get a lock on. I just picked up... Wait. Multiple impacts near the wall in Sector 17. They're attacking the sensor grid. They must know where Siva is. Guardian. Go to the Cosmodrome immediately. If Sepix escapes, the Fallen won't be our only problem. This may not make sense to you, but it took your fight to remind me that immortality is not the same as invincibility. I don't understand. When the ghosts first found us, those who were chosen were blessed with power, but not wisdom. The Iron Lords came together in search of a solution to mankind's struggles. Instead, we found Siva. We dreamt of using Siva to build starships, colonies. We would become what the Traveler always believed we could be. But something happened. Siva had been lost to time. When Teemer tracked it to the Cosmodrome, we thought our quest was finally over. Siva would be ours for the taking. Rasputin responded. More than a hundred Iron Lords entered the Plague Lands. Only nine reached the Replication Chamber. But since we were chosen by the Traveler and our cause was just, we were certain the day would be ours. Until Siva took control. It infected our weapons. Our armor. The corruption puppeted us against one another. In the end, Yolder sealed the chamber with the Iron Lords inside. Rather than let Siva escape. The battle was won. Heroes died. And our mistakes stayed here. But Rasputin survived. This is not Rasputin. But neither is it something I know how to fight. They are using Siva in ways we never even imagined. How would the Fallen have learned more about Siva than the Iron Lords? Or better yet, where did they learn? They haven't mastered Siva yet. This is all still new to them. See Tyra. She studied Siva's origins. If there's a way to track the Fallen's discoveries, she will know where to look. The Siva replicator is destroyed. We found this near it. Thank you. She would be honored. My brothers and sisters, I will see you again. Someday. You've given them back to me. Approach. There was a time that only Iron Lords carried these blades. There are many like this in our armory, but this one is new. It is yours, young wolf. You are the first of a new generation. Take your place as an Iron Lord.
The city's holidays are like the city itself. People from a thousand nations coming together to create something new. These days remind humanity that even when all seems lost, there is always a chance for joy. Now, as the year turns, the city celebrates with gifts and games. And guardians unite in the spirit of competition, pushing one another to become legends. Just for a moment, there's peace, harmony, hope. This is the dawning. It is a time to honor all that humanity has built and all that it will create. And rejoice in the light. From the day your ghost woke you, your light has been our beacon. You defended this city from the worst the darkness sent against us. Atheon, Crota, Oryx, Axis. When you are called on, you will do it again. The city's children tell your story to each other. Pretending to be guardians, they grow braver and more powerful with each retelling. They are no longer afraid. You have shown them, and you have shown me, what it is to hope. You have led us to a new age, Guardian. An age of triumph and remembrance. Today and tomorrow and every day, you fight for us. You fight for the traveler. You fight for those who fled here from a thousand nations looking for refuge. We thank you, Guardian. And we will never forget. I never knew you in life. Your first life, anyway. You died on a battlefield long before my time. Something special brought us together. They called it the Traveler. And when it arrived, it changed your world forever. It was a golden age. And for centuries, humanity thrived. Until it didn't. An ancient enemy pursued the Traveler across the universe. Humanity faced extinction. But the Traveler made a choice. Its sacrifice destroyed its ancient enemy and brought life to the ghosts. I am a ghost. More importantly, I'm your ghost. And you are one of the Traveler's chosen. You are a guardian. This is your destiny. Hey, Cora, if you tell me this is a practical joke, well, it kills me to say it, but I, I would be really impressed. Impressing you, Cade, is the easiest thing I'll do all day. Let's get serious, people. Zavala, this is my serious face. Can't you tell? Ikora, what have you got? Someone or something has sabotaged the Skyline defense systems. And comms have been spotty for the last few hours. Every sensor beyond the wall has gone dark. Hmm. Maybe it's just the storm. Maybe it's... What are the subfeeds telling us? Nothing. Well, that's good, right? No. I mean, they're not there. There are no satellites. And that's not good. Battle stations! Everyone with me! Now!
repeat, tower approach. This is City Hawk 723. Anyone home? No response on any channels. Even the emergency frequencies. What is going on back there? Remember when I told you that you fly too fast? Forget I said that. Fly fast. Picked up that guardian you never showed up about? Get him on that command ship! Now! Hold on back there! Guardian, something's wrong. Look, somebody left a perfectly good guardian lying around. Things must be worse than I thought. And that's our cue. Time to go, people! Uh, but wait, where, where are you all going? As far away from here as possible. That falcon, it belongs to you? The name's Hawthorne. And this is Lewis. Best pilot we got. What about you? Fit to fly? Probably gonna need one of these, too. Time to make yourself useful, Guardian. 
All right, people, spin them up. We've got a long flight ahead of us. city is secure. Those who fled are being hunted, and those foolish enough to remain have been executed. Victory, as with all things, is yours to claim. This victory is as much yours as mine, old friend. All that remains is the completion of the cage around this great machine. Then we may begin the extraction of its power and put it to its rightful use. They call it the Traveler. I would contend that other civilizations may be more precise in their naming. Its functions can be controlled and exploited, as we have so clearly proven. Yet they believe it to be a god. Dominus. Gaul. We have spent our lives, you and I, working to reshape our society, reforge our people, rebuild an empire nearly destroyed by Callus' greed and corruption. There is nothing in this universe greater than you. The Red Legion will have that machine's power. You will be called Emperor. What more would the Dominus have? I would have words with my guest. on the European dead zone. Gonna be our new home for a while. Look, do you recognize it? That's where we're supposed to go. That thing? They call it the Shard of the Traveler. I call it not a place you want to go poking around. Traveler's light sense. Do you feel it? Hold on to your helmet. Do you feel it? The light is back. We're back. Don't get cocky now that you've got your powers back. The EDZ is rough, especially around the old town. Just remember, refugees from the city have it a lot rougher. Want to help them? Find Devram K. You 
made it. Looks like Lewis owes me money. All right. Let's see if this works. Now, have I read the manual, right? There's an incoming beacon. Guardians, the city is lost. If there is any light left in the system, we rally on Titan. Be brave. Guardians. Zavala's alive! If we leave now, we... You are not going to Titan. We've got refugees coming in. The Red Legion on one side, the Fallen on the other. But we have our powers back. And if we're going to retake the city... Your city is gone! Hawthorne, we will be back. And we won't be alone. You'll know where to find me. Both a lot of time if you would just kill me. For one who calls himself Speaker, you have remarkably little to say. We've learned that one of your guardians has reconnected to the light. You say you have no power over the Traveler yet. This. Help me understand, Speaker. The light lives in all places, in all things. You can block it, even try to trap it, but the light will find its way. And the Traveler will protect itself. The Traveler? For years I have studied it. The world it has touched. Its power over life and death. We are not so different, your Traveler and I. You are nothing like the Traveler. Nothing. You think you have power. Control. I know your kind. You started small. You will end small. Traveler truly has chosen humanity of its own free will, then there is no reason I should not reach inside, tear out the light for myself, and leave this system in ashes. Only those the Traveler chooses will be reborn in the light. Yes. This I know. This is why I have claimed your planet, and why you still live. The Traveler will choose me, Speaker. And you are going to tell me how. Vanguard Fleet, Guardian Ship 723 is on approach. We received your beacon, and we're ready to join the fight. Guardian Ship, this is Zavala. It's too late. The Hive have overrun Titan. I was wrong to bring us here. I didn't dare believe. If the light can find its way back to you, then perhaps there is hope for us all. Our numbers will continue to dwindle. We can no longer protect ourselves, much less the survivors. And without the light, are we even guardians anymore? Commander. We won't last long with dead generators. Wave energy converters power this station, but thanks to the Hive, they're in need of attention. We can take care of it. Yes, 
I believe you can. Almighty, the crown jewel of the Red Legion and life's work of their leader, Dominus Gaul. Gaul has subjugated hundreds of worlds. Those that resisted no longer exist. You see, the Almighty annihilates stars. survives Gaul's ambition. What he wants is the Traveler and its light. As for the Almighty, it's now pointed at our sun. In short, sir, the war's over and we've lost. our home under the protection of the Traveler. When our enemies attacked, we built a wall that stood for centuries. But now walls mean nothing. This enemy has taken our home, taken our light, and now they threaten our very existence. We're going all in on this almighty. How long before the fleet's combat ready? Zavala, wait. If we wait, we die. But if we attack together, we can take back our home, our light, our hope. Or we die trying. Now, I need my fire team. I need Ikora and Cade. Commander Zavala needs the Vanguard united again. While he prepares for the assault on the Almighty, we're going to find Cade and Ikora. Luckily, we picked up an odd signal from Cade's ghost. It's being boosted somehow from a centaur called Nessus. Which is strange. Centaurs are really just big rocks in the outer reaches of the solar system. There should be nothing there. for nothing being here. Let's get to high ground so I can pin down Cade's location. Quick, hurry, come on. I don't know how long this portal's gonna stick. Cade, what have you- Stop, 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 look, look. Long story, and it may look like I don't know what I'm doing, but I do, maybe not, it doesn't matter. Killing the power source at the origin point should break the loop and get me out of the portal system. Have you got that? Say you've got it. Say something! Fine, I'll say it. We got it, Cade. Now how did you- Oh my cotton socks! Did you not hear what I just said? I'm guessing this is why they don't like him leaving the tower.
Hey, hey, down, down, down. So it's true. The light found its way back to you. Not that I'm jealous or nothing, but <laughs> take it easy out there, will you? You're making me look bad. What, may we ask, were you going to do with a Vex teleporter? Get up close and personal with go. Put a bullet in his head. Then maybe eat a sandwich. Gotta work out a few kinks first. Fun fact about the Vex tech. Not as intuitive as you'd think. Cade, you can't do this alone. <clears throat> Hell, I can't. <sighs> Even if you manage to kill Gaul, when the Red Legion leave a system, defeat or victory, they leave nothing behind. The Cabal are bad guys who do bad things. Yes, I get it. I'm sorry, but I do not think you do. The Cabal literally leave nothing behind. They have a weapon that can destroy a star, and it is pointed directly at our sun. Hey, 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 easy, easy. You're gonna blow a bulb. Zavala has a plan. He needs you, Kate. Yes, well, Zavala always says he has a plan, but sometimes he just... Wait. Zavala said he needs me? As in, you heard those exact words coming out of Zavala's mouth? Yes, we did. Please tell me you recorded it. Well, did Akora at least hear it? Actually, Zavala lost her after the city fell. We don't know where she is. Io. Io, it's, it's where she'd go to look for answers. Hey, um, thanks. Oh, you won. Of all the places I've been in all the years since my rebirth, this is where I return. The last place the Traveler touched. I came for answers. I stand here still with nothing. Ikora, Zavala is forming a resistance. And he believes... What good is a resistance when you are the only one who would survive? I believe this goal creature knows the Traveler blessed this site. I believe he sent his legion to find something they could never possibly understand. And I believe they will continue to desecrate all we hold sacred. Save this place, Guardian. Do not squander this second chance. Disgraced. 
who saw in me something redeemable. He raised me, taught me, trained me, and in return, I would become a vehicle for his revenge against an empire that failed him, that failed itself. Rejection, ridicule, torment, it made me stronger. I gave everything to win, not just acceptance, but glory. Beneath my mask, Speaker, is the face of devotion and sacrifice. I will not take the light by force. To do so would be to admit failure. And I never fail. Now, do you see why I will be chosen? I see now. I see all that you have done. Our operation on the Jovian Moon was a success. Once the cage is complete, we will have everything we need to begin the process of extracting the light. Dominus, everything we've worked for is here, for the taking. All that remains is your word. No, this is not the way, old friend. But it is the way. The only way. Not for me. So really what you're saying is, we're damned if we do, damned if we don't. On the contrary. Now that we are together again, we just might stand a chance. The fact is, if we destroy that weapon, we will ignite a chain reaction that could send our son into a supernova. Well, at least we have each other. Indeed. We all know what needs to be done. The Traveler must be freed. I'm thinking the three of us and a big fat pile of explosives can get the job done. Look, I still have that Vex teleporter. It's got a limited range, so we'll have to get a little too close for comfort. Then we get inside the city walls for it to be effective. But without the light, an outright assault on the wall is doomed to fail. We could... There will be no coming back. It's worth it. How do we get in? You know... The city wall is kind of like this barn. Plenty of places to slip in unseen, so long as you know how. You sure you're not one of my hunters? <laughs> not really into capes. Clearly. Nice poncho. You need to get your team into the city without raising any alarms. My people and I can help you do that. We also happen to be pretty good at shooting bad guys. Hawthorne, it's one thing for us to put our lives on the line, but this doesn't have to be your fight. You're not a... A guardian? You think you've cornered the market on sacrifice? You forget that we've had to survive without the light all our lives. Once upon a time, that big white ball in the sky was there for all of us. I think it's about time we return the favor. Guardians or not. That's great speech and all, but let's not forget about the whole supernova and complete annihilation thingy. If we can't destroy the Almighty, we'll have to disable its weapon. And that means getting a certain Guardian on board. We'll need a good disguise if we're going to fly right through a Cabal Armada. If it's a Cabal ship you need, there's a base nearby full of them. But it won't be easy sneaking in. Oh, we're done sneaking. If there's one thing I've learned from Cade, it's the value of a grand entrance. This is great. Anyone want a hug? Hugs? No? No hugs. Our plan relies on you. Destroy the Almighty's weapons. End the threat to our world. And while you're doing that, we'll get in position for the final run on the city. It's time for Gaul's last dance. It's 
Zavala's troops are already getting into position around the city. But they can't attack until we shut this thing down. So, ready when you are, partner. It's a good job, Colonel. What's that now? Seven in a row? Yeah, who needs the light when you got a fine feathered friend by your side? Am I right? Am I right or am I right? I'm right. Okay. Yeah, that's the rally point where I'll set up the teleporter. Zavala and Akora should be at their marks by now. Zavala, we're in position. As are we. Ikora, ready when you are. Copy. Fire in the hole. Guardians falling down all the time. Where's Kate? If he's sticking to the plan, he's right where he needs to be. Now we just gotta get you and Ikora up there with him. Well, this changes things. I'll work on this. You need to get moving. Ikora, Cade is in place and I'm en route. Good luck, Guardian. Attacks the city, and the Almighty is lost. Lost? Explain yourself. Laid waste by the very same Guardian that somehow managed to reclaim its power, and has been humiliating our forces throughout this cursed system. You would know this if you hadn't been wasting your time communing with a machine and the creature who claims to speak with Take it. Take care your tone, Consul. My tone? We will fail in our mission to secure this power and deliver our people. For the first time in the glorious history of the Red Legion, fail because of you and your preoccupations. Look at your traveler, Dominus. The cage is complete. The time is now. Claim what is rightfully yours and take this power. I speak for 
before the traveler. I never said it spoke to me. This fixation is over. You have already been chosen, not by some inert machine, but by me. I chose you the day I found you. Remember who you are, what you are. You are Kamal. Kamal, wait for nothing. You will take the light. Do what you swore and give me the vengeance you promised. Look at me, student. Look at me! I will do what I swore, old friend. I am gone. And I will take the light. What's happening to it? Zavala, we're back and ready to go. Fitting your traveler would send you to face me once more. Look upon me. Dominus of the Red Legion. Annihilator of suns! Razor of a thousand worlds! Slayer of gods and conqueror of the light! I am God! And I have become legend.
light lives in all places, in all things. You can block it, even try to trap it, but the light will find its way. When the Red Legion attacked, it almost cost us everything. It took a miracle to save us. The awakening of the Traveler. This is our new beginning. The maps are blank. The rules are gone. All we know is we must become more than what we were. This small corner of the cosmos is the only place that is forever ours. And the universe watches us with envious eyes. We've proven we can fight threats from beyond the stars. But now there are things stirring beneath our feet, provoked by the Traveler's light. Our war is just beginning. Ominous rocks, killer robots, people in mortal danger. Seriously, aren't you tired of this? Fatigue is a distraction from our purpose. As are complaints. Oh, I haven't begun to complain yet. Ouch! Ugh! Now I'm complaining. Focus, Sagira. Reach for the sky, big guy. Myself. Need help? Again? I've got it, thank you. Well? Osiris? What, what did you see? Slow down! Wait. I thought I... Oh, shh! Two o'clock! Medium range! You're welcome! You know, 
I can't help but notice that even with all of reality to explore, you keep picking the places where they shoot at us. We can't stay here. If the Vex succeed, it's the end of everything. Sabira, we can see your light. You have to go. Nope, not leaving you. Without me, there's no coming back. If I don't stop the Vex, there won't be anything to come back to. I'm doing this for the both of us. Don't you even... Oh, sorry! Guardian, thank you for coming. There's been a development on Mercury. Strange reports from the cultists clinging to what's left of the planet. Normally, I'd ignore their conspiracy theories. But one of my hidden brought me... this. A dead ghost? She's not dead. Her name is Sagira. I've known her a very long time. And her guardian. Osiris. The Osiris? The most powerful guardian ever. The hero of six fronts. The Zavala before Zavala? Zavala wouldn't like to hear you call him that. Most guardians won't even speak Osiris's name. He was the only vanguard commander ever exiled from the city. And the man who taught me what it means to be a warlock. We found Sagira on Mercury, and at the same time, Vex activity there surged exponentially. And you think Osiris might be involved? I need to know what happened, even if the Vanguard wants to forget him. When I lost my light, I didn't have anything else. I was empty. Then you came to Io, and you helped me find my way back. I need that friend again, Guardian. Go to Mercury. Take Sagira with you. The followers of Osiris, the few who remain, might know what her presence means. And for now, let's keep this between us. I'd hate to have to throw you off this wall. Um, that was a joke, right? That was a joke. Welcome to Mercury, Guardian. The signs told me you would come. What a coincidence. We follow the signs here, too. And by signs, I mean facts. That, too, is a sign. I am Brother Vance of the Followers of Osiris, Keeper of the Lighthouse, and Oracle of the Lost Prophecies. Vex's mind is destroyed, and the path to their dark future is gone with it. And in case you were wondering, our guardians were amazing. Our guardians? Huh. My guardian. Guardian thief. Osiris, it's been a very long time. Too long, my... my... <laughs> 
I was going to say student, but... Well, that word is too small for you now. I've had other teachers. Time. Pain. A guardian who makes a habit of the impossible. Who I'm proud to call a friend. The world has changed. So has the city. You could come back with me. No, my place is here now. We stopped the Vex this time. But many equations lead to the same solution. If they were ever to find another... Besides, I predicted many things, but I never saw you. Now we have a future. The pathway to the forest will be open if you ever need to find me, or if you want to talk. I'd like that. Great! Galaxy saved, friends again, our big hero over here, and by the way, you're welcome. <laughs> Come, little light. We have infinite realities to explore, and all the time in the world. Guardians aren't supposed to investigate their past. That's the rule. But I'm not good with rules. Not when there's this much at stake. The Clovis Bray tech in that building allowed us to colonize the system during the Golden Age. We, they, sought to create peace for all humanity. Which is ironic, because they also built Rasputin the single most powerful weapon in the solar system. Either way, it's all been entombed on Mars since the collapse, along with something far more terrifying. Gaul's forces, what remains of them, have been scavenging during their retreat. And now that warsats are falling out of orbit near Mars, the Cabal are headed there too. I'll plot a landing course. That's the private Vanguard channel. Mayday, do you copy? Vanguard access code 030. Get away from my ghost, you frozen. Guardian requesting backup, I repeat. I need backup down here. This frequency is reserved for official Vanguard business. So look, whoever this is... That's cute. You've got one of the uptight ghosts. Uptight? I'm uploading coordinates to a safe landing zone. Please hurry. All right, but you're going to owe us for this one. I wouldn't have called you down here unless it was absolutely critical. The most dangerous weapon in this system is on this planet. And an entire army of Hive is trying to destroy it. I need your help. Hey, you made it. Actually, yes. We did. Well, there were a lot of them. But you did great. Come on. 
Let's see what's hiding in here. Besides hordes and hordes of frozen hive, I mean. Hello, Guardian. Oh, shanks. What do you think you're doing? Do you have any idea how dangerous this thing is? What were you trying to do to Rasputin? Rasputin is Vanguard business, Anastasia, not yours. You do not belong here. I beg your pardon? You belong to the city. But instead of standing by your brothers and sisters when Gaul came for us, you were here. Doing what you always do. What you were never supposed to do. I did what I believed to be right. I came here to protect humanity. Isn't that what Guardians are supposed to do? This is a war of many fronts. And there's more than one way to fight it, Zavala. Look. You try to shield the entire world. But you can't. There's got to be a better way. And do you think Rasputin is the answer? It's gone silent. It's a broken weapon. Too dangerous to be left alone and too unpredictable to wield. That might be true. Or maybe he has nothing to say. Maybe. Just maybe. We never bothered to ask him what he wanted. I don't have time to go through this with you again. You had no right. I have every right. You don't understand the connection I share with Rasputin. Here, let me show you. Okay. We should really figure out exactly what's doing that. I can tell you. Rasputin was not the only thing to awaken on Mars. Zola's heading directly for the Clovis Sprague facility and Rasputin. If Rasputin dies, the Javelin goes with him. Zola wins. Very well. And my reservations about the war mind aren't as important as defeating Zola. We do this together. What do you say, Guardian? We say it's about time. The Bray family shaped me to be an all-seeing savior while your vanguard sought to wield me as a primitive weapon. But today, that ends. And I define the reality of my own existence. My sight will stretch to the edge of this system and beyond. 
Never again will a threat go unseen. From this day forward, I will defend humanity on my own terms. I am Rasputin, guardian of all I serve it. I have no equal. What have we done? Don't worry. We've got this. No, but I do have a bullet with your name on it. Oh, any second now, my partner is going to roll in here and kill every last one of you. And you, my man. This is going to hurt. Any last words? <coughs> How's your sister? Petra, Venge. Thanks for the invite. What you packing for this party? <sighs> the usual. Oh, do the thing. Seriously, watch this. <sighs> That'll never not freak me out. Do it again. Later. Maybe. Right now, Gen Pop is running wild. Fortunately, the main arena and lower levels remain on lockdown. But if the core security systems fail, containment is going to be a problem. Just another day at the office. All right, partner, this is a Cade Riff in six. Watch me for the changes and uh, try to keep up. Now let's go to prison! <laughs> Looks like we're all done and dusted here, kiddos. Raman's on me. Looking pretty good down here. Just gotta check one last thing. Prison riot. It's a prison break. The airlock on deck zero. It's the only way out this far down. They're going to escape. Not if I get there first.
You see that, Petra? Petra? Guardian? Must have knocked out the com relays with that spectacular landing. And cue the ominous music. Okay, everybody. Back in your cages. I said, back in your cages! didn't feel a thing.
lost. He had the worst jokes. Even worse timing. I wanted to laugh. I really did. We should have been there. This is not your fault. This is on the head of Aldrin Sov. But if he thinks what he's done is the end, it's not. It's the beginning. We're going to fight him. Do you hear me? All of us. Every Titan. Every Warlock. Every Hunter. We will take the Reef by storm. And then, we will mount the head of that son of a bitch on his precious throne. For our fire team. For Cade. No. What did you say? We are not an army. We are not conquerors. We are guardians. We need to keep our eyes here. On our home, our people, the Traveler. The Reef was lost the moment it lost its queen. So if another Sov wants a stretch of lifeless rocks, let him have it. This is Cade we're talking about. For us to do nothing is... is... Say it. Cowardice. I refuse to bury any more friends. You won't have to. Aldrin Sov is mine. Yes, I am humbled by your gracious acceptance. Mara Sav, my sister, your queen, may be gone. But she is with us now, and always. As for you, my friends, my barons, you embraced me when I was cast out. And for that, I gift to you the bounty of the Tangled Shore. Go, unleash upon the fallen chaos. By your grace, Father. be proud. The Reefborn's love for their queen remains undiminished. Love is fleeting, but devotion. Now that is forever. Not one of them has ever shown more strength of devotion than you, 
my dear brother. The Awoken cannot be trusted. You and I know that better than anyone. Together, we can bestow upon our people the fortune they so richly deserve. Extinction. frontier of outlaws, scavengers, and pirates. Murderers like Aldrin and his fallen would fit right in. We need to search the shore. From the fallen camps in Quitter's Well to that ancient awoken watchtower on the horizon. Leave no stone unturned. Aldrin can't hide from us. <laughs> well, if it isn't Petra Vank, the worst jailer in the solar system. <laughs> what brings you to my home away from home? Away from home. On the run, are we? I heard you lost the shore. God. You lost my shore. Thought you might want some help getting it back. A guardian? And where, oh where? Pray tell, is its ghost? Never mind the ghost. There were two guardians at the prison of elders when it fell. Cade Six. And this one. The three of us want the same thing, Spider. Aldrin and his barons. Dead. Oh, what is your... Oh, oh, oh. I see. <laughs> Despite our clear, mutually aligned interests, I'm sorry. But I can't help but feel like it is I who will come up short. <laughs> it's true. I know where Aldrin and his barren scheme. You go scratch your itch. Then we can just say, you owe me. Do we have a deal? Deal.
moon. Damn! This is as far as you go. Please, for you I go instead. Oh no, darkness lives here. Death, you are not of ether, can't bring you back. All the same. Yes, father, we ever serve and await return. Go, inspire, and avenge your murdered friends. There's no more room for fear, dear brother. I'm not afraid. Of course not. You have sacrificed like no other. You looked into an abyss, bowed to false kings, and suffered uncountable betrayals. You were humiliated, imprisoned, manipulated, taken, and still you gave up everything because you loved. Please, brother, will you walk through hell for me one last time? Yes. Good. Then let us finish this. Even paradise is a prison when you can't leave. You've no idea how fortunate you are to be my chosen. You hold the flesh of a god in your hands. You are mere steps away from our salvation. Only light and dark together can unlock my way back into your world. That's it. Keep going. Free me!
Congratulations. You have my undivided attention. Now where's my sister? She's not here, Aldrin. And if she was... This would be a whole lot easier. So... This is to be a reckoning. Wait! Not like this. Look at him. He's finished. Even with everything he's done, we can't just... You have no idea what he's done! If Cade was here, I know what he would do, Guardian. Do you? Yes. What would the notorious Cade Six do? You have his gun. Seems you get the last word. <laughs> Everything I did, I did for her. <laughs> Funny. The line between light and dark is so very thin. Do you know which side you're on? Before she went to war, Queen Mara left me with three orders. Protect our people. Hide our secrets. Believe in the plan. I have protected. I have hidden. I have believed. Now I want answers. I want to know what drove Uldren to madness. I want to kill whatever evil has crept into the Dreaming City. And most of all, I want to see my queen again. I want to know that she lives. My queen commanded me to slay a beast. We could not do it alone. So I turned to the Guardians. Six brave heroes came to destroy my people's greatest secret. Riven. The last known Ahamkara. A creature of immense power and cunning. The Guardians killed Riven and ripped out her heart. But Ahamkara transcend death. They can transform desire into reality even when they are nothing but bone and dust. I should have known that Riven would grant one last wish, one last curse. Now the Dreaming City has been taken. I opened the gates. I ordered the attack. I should have known.
stunning, isn't it? That weapon is beyond special. A witness to the slaughter of our founder. And my ally in vengeance against those responsible. Light bearers. Just like you. You are not welcome here, Guardian. I see. Well then, what we offer, Guardian, is privilege. Normally afforded to those who do not already have their own. Today, however, it would seem our doors are open to you. Welcome to the Black Armory. Is that... You found it. Oh. Thank you. It's about time someone taught you respect, little man. Ha! <laughs> someone like you? I know you all keep tabs on me. Yeah. You've been straying. You don't even use his name no more. Well, that's why I'm still breathing, brother. Gambit is a chance at salvation. Take it. You were always so afraid Shin would get you. Sorry, old friend. Behind you. Anymore. It's Drifter now. You have proven yourself worthy. Accept this gift from the knife. A gift? What gift? Just pull this scam off. And when the time comes, we'll finally be in the clear. Huh. We came to say farewell. 
Our attention is required elsewhere. All right. Thanks for the memories, you lunatic. Anything else I could do for you? You're already doing it. Keep playing the game. Attention all Guardians. Last night we detected a seismic disturbance on the moon. Within hours it was swarming with hive. This plague must not be allowed to spread. Eris Moore. that pyramid you've heard the stories of the traveler's sacrifice of darkness descending upon humanity before us lies a dark remnant of their existence was it struck down by the traveler left here on purpose the truth is ours to discover discover how we find a way inside. I had to see it with my own eyes. How long has it sat in silence watching us? Much too long. I can't help but feel responsible for this, Eris. If I hadn't sent you here... Your concern is noted. That my fate is my own responsibility. And we both know you didn't come here to apologize. I came to tell you, you were right. It seems those responsible for our collapse are coming back. Insufferable! Save your torment for someone who gives a damn! Eris. The Vanguard is at your disposal. And if you'll excuse us, Ikora, we have work to do. Guardian. Whatever she needs.
made it. We have heard your cries for help. And soon we will answer. Who are you? Don't you recognize us? We are not your friend. We are not your enemy. We are your salvation. say that the Black Garden is the birthplace of the Vex. But it was not the beginning. It was the reason. The life in the Garden called out a question. The Vex are the answer. They will do anything to protect the Garden. In these things, there is symmetry. The gateways have opened. The Vex are coming. Before you, the Red Legion had never been defeated in battle. You crushed them. Drove them to a desperation they've never known. They have scoured the system, searching for salvation. Instead, they found my failed experiment. The Sundial Prototype. It is a means to walk the corridors of time. Now time is broken on Mercury, fractured by the Legion into countless realities. They intend to write a new history, a new ending to the Red War. Show them history is written by the victors.
My name is Saint Fortin. They call me the great titan who ever lived. But I would be dead if not for you. While, old man. The tower looks at you and sees a god. But I see a thug. A murderer. Betrayer. You know why I left the Infinite Forest. What I saw. A line has been drawn in this system. Light on one side, dark on the other. Where do you stand? Two years ago, the war mind Rasputin helped humanity defeat the Hive on the Martian frontier. On that day, it swore to protect us. Now, it may be the only thing that can. The Red Legion has one last play. They have boarded their superweapon, the Almighty, and it's on the move. You already destroyed its star-killing munitions, but whatever the Legion hopes to achieve won't end well for us. They once took the tower. They will take nothing else. We'll see to that. Copy, Commander. I've located the central manifold. It seems the Cabal have disabled the ship's MAV thrusters. They killed the steering on this thing? Any idea what that was? Checking. That explosion came from the propulsion deck. The 
Cabal have taken out the primary engine. Have you made it to the bridge yet? Just a moment. They've destroyed the ship's navigation system. We're a dead stick. None of this makes any sense. No nav, no engine, no way to steer or change course. It's like they want this thing to drift off into space forever. Not forever. Wanted a return to war on the moon. 
They built a lunar fortress to back their assault. A grand stage to announce their revival. You climbed that scarlet citadel, and the hive met you head on. You buried them. But we found more than hive on the moon. The dark has reached out. We have no choice but to reach back. What did you find? It found me. The darkness reached out, but something interferes. Its messages to us are being defaced. Defaced? By the witch sister of the Taken King, Oryx. Savathun. Your obsession gives her power. No. She feeds on denial. Ignorance. The Guardian has discovered a means to circumvent her. A seed of silver wings. Eris. If the darkness reaches out, we must reach back. I will not sanction this. We are beyond sanctions. It is here. I will return to Io. If we cannot determine what the darkness seeks, we will find ourselves on the verge of a second collapse. Perhaps that is what Savathun wants. Please, don't. Let me go, Zavala. Where were we? According to spectral analysis, the pyramid, its propulsion, the energy it's manipulating on Io, I don't see a ship. I see a being. Paracausal in nature. Like the Traveler. All records of the Golden Age agree. On the first day, the sky filled with darkness. On the second, the Traveler fell. Help Eris where you can, but be ready to deal with the enemy fleet when it arrives. We need you, Guardian. It is drawing power. Could it be enough to drive the darkness away from us?
every fire team has returned to the city. Even the hunters. They're with the people. Keeping them safe. On the last time this happened, the world ended. I'm not worried. I'm not. It is reforming, healing its wounds. This will not be the end. It will be an escalation. Last city, humanity has endured a devastating blow. Vanguard scouts have confirmed that Io, Mars, Titan, and Mercury have disappeared. We don't know why. We have lost contact with Deputy Commander Sloan and Jensen Scribe Ashamir. We are deploying guardians to all corners of the system to find answers. And with those answers, we will form a plan. In the meantime, we ask that all lightless civilians remain within the safety of the city walls, under the protection of the traveler. Do not lose hope. Humanity has survived many horrors. We have done so through the strength of our community, through steadfast commitment to one another. Stay strong. Be brave. The Traveler protects us, and we will protect you. The Guardians will come through. They always do. The terrible things born out in the darkness. Every moment brings them closer. My future does not begin here, but yours does. It's time to step beyond the light. And it all begins with a splinter. We are all in great danger. Earth, the great machine, Elixni, and the human. Darkness walks among us. We are all in great danger. My kind must survive. Please, send help. There is not much time. What?
That's another one. They all scan the same. Empty. Why did the darkness invite us here? You're quiet today. Yeah. It's just, we keep coming face to face with darkness. And every time we fail to stop it, we're just so powerless. I'm picking up a distress signal. Someone's in trouble. My friends, we are all in great danger. It's Varix. He has a lot to answer for. Darkness walks among us. I'll send a message to let Zavala know. No, wait. Where is the signal coming from? Here. Europa. traitor but a thief now where is it safe from you yes search the buildings find it wait aramis old friend these powers they create chaos they are changing you this <laughs> cling to your machine god with this power we make our own fate always playing pretend living in the past i should have seen it Make an example of him. Chains! For centuries we have been bound by them. Servants to the so-called Great Machine. We even built idols in its image. We have become pawns of our own devices. No... Longer! Ah. Today, we begin breaking free from our chains! This power is a gift. One I will share with all of you in time. Violax! One by one, we will rise again. This is our future. Our enemies stand no chance against this power. The Great Machine will finally know our hate! It would appear our enemies have arrived, eager to test us. Let's not keep them waiting. Variks believed Aramis wished to create a new life for the Elixni. But these dark powers have poisoned her mind. And so, I fled from her. For this, she calls me Betrayer. There are others who fled. Those like me, who still worship the Great Machine. They are in hiding. I will not leave them behind. They will be casualties in her war without our help. But perhaps they can be brought to safety.
Axis and Phylax are dead. We must retaliate! Atrax. Critis and I can handle this. Return to the crypt and prepare the body. Aramis, we must take pause. These powers are not what we expected. I too am impatient, but there is wisdom in caution. Destruction they crave. This was a world of prosperity and peace, not unlike your golden age. We worshipped the great machine, but fate intervened. With it came a whirlwind of destruction. In the chaos, the great machine fled, abandoning us all. Aramis, like most, was left consumed with rage. In the wake of loss, Aramis rebuilt a life, found new family, one forged from Anger. Aramis saw only destruction of that which abandoned us. Varric's fears for elixir lives. At the command of Aramis, they will meet their end. We all do. We must all make choices. Aramis chose herself over her people. If Aramis is to succeed, the great machine and all who follow it will meet their end. In darkness, there is only one truth. Death. Your chains are showing. All that power wasted serving false gods. Allow me to help you break free. Ghost. This is... I... I can't. I'm sorry. Ha. Look what I've done for you. No more light. No more dark. Look within. Focus your power. Ooh. How interesting. The only thing we have to break here is you. Come then, Pawn. Show me what freedom has given you! It will not end this way! It can't! Darkness, our ancient enemy. Foretold by many they came, 
as the war mind warned us they would. They were confronted with fire, and when that failed, met with intrigue among the bones of Io's last monument to the light. It promised us power, and for it, a price was paid. A lull holds the system, though it is not emptiness that gives us pause. Yet not all is lost. Stand, Guardian. Brandish your light and join the hunt. You're here! Finally! Is it done? Uh, uh, calm down to you! Oh! Osiris! We warned you it was going to be dangerous down here, especially for the ghostless. I'm... I'm glad to see we're all okay, though. I'm Glint, by the way. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Go on. Introduce yourself. They call me... The Crow. My boss wants to see you. Impossible. It's done. So it is. So it is. All right, Guardian. As promised, you can have a prized bauble from my lair. As compensation for your heroics. I want him. <laughs> Cute. Real funny. You said anything in the room. <laughs> oh, and, uh, you really want my little bird? Yeah. Fine, you can have him. Fly away and get the hell out of my lair. Now what? I... I don't know. It doesn't feel real. Freedom. Why would you do this for us? Because... you're a guardian. The Cabal. War, wanted or not, is all they understand. And so we taught them. Sand eaters scattered, dust giants belled, ice reapers buried, siege dancers broken. Until we grew complacent and Gaul drove a blade between our ribs, left us gasping. Before the vanguard showed them that the light cannot be tamed so easily, I should have stepped forward. Stamped the Red Legion into extinction. Instead, I ran the banner and watched the city's victories dull our edge once more. It should have ended before they fattened us, before they exploited us, before they forced us to lift up a murderer as our savior. Another cabal warmonger now leads a fleet off Nessus. No more waiting. We will be there to put her in the ground. Even my people have a word for peace, but we do not use it often or lightly. I wouldn't have summoned you if I was not sincere. 
peace with the Cabal. The darkness crowds the edges of this system. The Hive serves it. You'll fall to one if not the other. My world did. Empress Keitel, I'm sorry for what you've lost. We have all suffered. I propose an alliance. Cabal don't ally. They conquer. She betrayed her father to Gaul. Don't think she won't put a gilded knife in your back too. My father was soft. He lacked ambition. As you do. Humanity won't survive unless the Commander expands his horizons. Join my empire. You'll keep your title and gain a seat on my war council. With my army and your light, the Cabal will crush the Hive. Then, the Black Fleet. Bow. No. Very well. Ready yourself, Commander. I'll sharpen my gilded knife and see you both on the battlefield. Sometimes I like to listen to the city's pulse. I hear it best when the people are asleep, and when I'm alone. It was a warm night, and I wanted to feel the breeze on my face. I took a walk through the first garden we planted inside these walls, to remind myself how far we've come. We've made so many sacrifices since those early days. But with the green of that garden and the murmur of the city we built up around it, I could be at peace. For a little while. Have you ever felt someone's eyes watching you, Guardian? You might not believe it, but I knew he was there before I saw him. I turned, and there he was, Aldrin Sov. His spirit haunting me. Then he shouted a warning, and something snapped in the trees behind me. I spun around, my gun in hand, before I realized I'd drawn it. It all happened so fast. A cabal assassin, one of Keitel's, no doubt. When I looked back for Prince Eldrin, he was gone. Was it a troubled spirit? A hallucination? I wasn't sleeping well before. Now I'm not sure I will at all. Let our blood be the last spilled. Let this ground be hallowed. Let honor bind us. I didn't order this. Bring me the one who pulled the trigger. They'll know who did. Ugh. 
Are you all right? I'm alive. This morning, for the first time in humanity's long and storied history, the sun did not rise. Osiris tells me it's a Vex simulation that has plunged the city into an endless night. It seems they have found a way to harness our energy against us. And even in all his wisdom, Osiris can offer no solution. I don't know what will happen if we can't break the Vex's hold over the city. I do know that we must protect our people, no matter the cost. The Vex are machines, and no one understands machines better than the Elixir. Osiris and I can only think of one we might turn to. Mithrax, Kel of House Light. My spies report he claims to be among the last sacred splicers, those with the power to commune with machines. He may be our best and only hope. Find him, Guardian before the Vex do. People shelter beneath the great machine. This is beyond simple generosity. I must thank Ikora for her gift. This sanctuary is not granted by Ikora alone, but by all who live in the last city. Yes, and on their behalf, let me extend a welcome. I am Osiris, and this is Lakshmi too future war court leader and city representative. My greatest appreciations to you both. The House of Light thanks you. Your house can best show gratitude by keeping to itself. I know your assistance with the Vex will benefit us all, but not everyone in the city is so open-minded. You appear to be settling in. I will leave you to it. If you require further help from us, you must only ask. Uh, I shall. Uh, there are several modifications we will need for stable ether production. Submit a proposal to Ikora. She seems willing to get you anything you need. I must return to the people in the city. Future War Court has foreseen great misery for them in the days ahead, and they will need an advocate. I often forget how highly those in the tower have placed themselves. The air is thin there. Best not to breathe too much of it. You must understand this situation is tense for us all. This encampment perches on the edge of the Cree and the democracy. I hope your stay with us will be Uneventful. As do I. Hmm. 
When I requisitioned this transmitter, I was told the helm would be a secure location. I suppose this will have to do. Greetings, Guardian. I'm Lakshmi II of the future war cult, and I'm here to offer my assistance, because you need it quite badly. The future war cult has long used Vex-derived technology to see into the future. I won't bore you with an explanation of mind forking. Suffice to say, we understand its dangers and use the device responsibly. I have glimpsed our future, Guardian, and what I saw was chilling. Skies dark with smoke, shouting, gunfire, and in the center of it all, standing in our city, a group of fallen, the same fallen I saw earlier. Ikora listened to my report, but she chose not to hear it. The vanguard would rather protect its image than its people, and so I will handle things myself. We can change this future. Stop it from happening. While I monitor your progress against the Vex and assist where I am able, I will observe these fallen. If they begin to act against us, well... When I foresaw the Red War, they laughed until Gaul bound the traveler. This time, I will not whisper my warnings. I will not be polite. I look forward to working with you, Guardian. Together, we can protect our city from all who would wish it harm. We have already surrendered too much. Now they want more. Me. Law, medicine. People in the city need these things. We ask for no more than you can give. This endless night, it drains us. Our resources are spread too thin. What you give to them, you take from the mouths of our citizens. All right. That's enough. My Koro was firm. I am to provide for the Elixni as if they were our own people. <laughs> our own people. Lakshmi was right. You are too political an animal, Osiris. The House of Light. We wish to destroy the Vax. To aid the Guardian. Same as you. Yes? Do not start with this. Tell me, Mithras. Were I in one of your cities, would you bow to all of my demands? We would give you anything you asked for. Because you are so generous? Because we would wish to live. I see. <laughs> you are fighting for your people, as I would fight for mine, yes? It is true. Split the supplies, as Ikora says. Anything to make this false night pass more quickly. Interesting. There's been a disturbance. Sabotage in the Elixni camp. This wasn't just an attack on their ether stores. Someone wanted to send a message. Our citizens forget who they were before they found the safety of the city's walls. It's easy to mistake change as the front line of a battlefield. But this is a time for level heads and compassion. Saint-14 is already en route to investigate. I trust him, but he is torn between duty and doubt. And Lakshmi? The Vanguard has tolerated her broadcasts, as Zavala doesn't believe it's our place to interfere in civilian politics. I see now that was a mistake. We can't allow anyone to jeopardize our alliance with the House of Light, no matter their motives. Our citizens must see that the Elixni are people, just like them. Get down there. Be the calm the city needs. Hear out grievances, and keep tensions low, 
while I root out the perpetrators. It's time that Lakshmi and I had a little talk. You see what was done. Our ether tanks smashed. Our supplies stolen. Our home defaced. I cannot find any witnesses. This is not surprising. The locals have been under enormous pressure. You're lucky it was not worse. This destruction helps no one but the Vex. Please, instead of teaching your people to fear us, tell them the truth. The truth is that your kind has preyed upon us for as long as we can remember. There's nothing I can say that will make them forget. How slight has never raised arms against humanity. Your houses and titles are layers of politics. You're still fallen. You promised us your protection. And you've had it. We allowed your brood to squat and chitter here in our city. But still, the Vex simulation persists. If you're displeased with how you have been treated for your failure, then I suggest you camp elsewhere. Your people destroyed what little we possessed. Now we have nothing, nowhere to go. Humanity faced a challenge like that once. We banded together and built a city with walls to keep our enemies outside. Where they belong. We hear her broadcasts, but more than that, we feel the energy of her words in the air. Sharp as blades pointed at an enemy. At us. You cannot ask people to live alongside their monsters. Listen to me now, Saint. Let me tell you something about monsters. city grander even than yours, we prospered. But it did not last. Our great machine abandoned us, and when we pursued it, you sent something back. A creature fueled by hatred. It tore through our great houses like they were nothing. And then it came for the rest of us. Nowhere was safe from its insatiable rage. In its eyes, even the most innocent of Elixni were still fallen. It could die, but it would not stay dead. It would shake off the rot and rise again. And if it caught you in its crushing embrace, impaled you on its ragged crest, dragged you screaming into its foul shell, none live to speak of these horrors. It called itself the Saint. My people must now see the creature every day. It sees us. If we wish to survive, we must all learn to live alongside our monsters. Guardian, I regret you had to witness my outburst earlier with the fallen leader. I am not a diplomat. And sometimes I can be terse. I know terrible things have been done in the name of the city. In the name of the future war court. In my name. You understand, though. The city is a living thing. 
and it is rejecting the fallen, like a fever, burning out an infection. I will speak to the fallen leader, tell it that the future war cult will personally replenish their supplies when they are ready to move on. I do not wish them to think badly of us. I know they are your associates. What a city we would have if everyone's heart was as big as yours. Have you heard the song of the people echoing through the city? Rise up as one, march toward the sun. Hmm. The words of people reaching for dawn in this endless night. People who have still not given up hope. Neither have I. And if you were wondering, this was not the conflict I have foreseen. No, that will come later, unless I can stop it. I have thought much on Mithrax's story. We do monstrous things to fight monsters. It seems simple. When the city first formed, Titans were the walls. We did not think of our enemies when we fought. We thought only of protecting our people. Survival until the next day, no matter how. To be seen as a, as a terror. Destroyer, to know children tremble in fear at my name and mourn what I have taken from them. This is not the Saint Fourteen I know. I can never forgive what the old houses did to us, but these are not the old houses. They are dead. What do we gain from more death? This lashing out against defenseless people, it is the act of a coward. Mithrax risked much to trust us. If his house of light can forgive, perhaps we must try to see the fallen, Elixni, as they see themselves. Or none of us will ever be anything but monsters. We must be more than the enemies of our enemies. Guardian, be vigilant. We must consider our discovery of Savathun to be part of her plan. Perhaps she means to sow fear and suspicion among us. I won't allow her to drive us apart. When the time comes, I'll put a spear of light through the Witch Queen's heart myself. For now, I'm overturning all hidden records and full archival access to Osiris, but no one else. Lakshmi claims the Vanguard suffers from a lack of transparency. If she had access to our records, she'd cherry-pick whatever details were necessary to ground her prophecies. I need people I can trust to be objective. Some of our records on Savathun are fabricated truths, I'm sure. But in those lies, are the strategies she used to topple the Dreaming City. History won't be repeating itself here. Continue your splicer training with Mithrax. Use it to root Savathun's minions out. We'll reassess the situation when we've located our target. Osiris, there is something I must discuss with you. Lakshmi, she came to me with a proposal. Are you taking over as Titan Vanguard? She discussed it with me as well. Lakshmi has radical ideas, but they are only words. No cause for alarm. Good, good. Only words, of course. She wants what is best for the people of the city. And in truth, you would make an excellent leader. I do not seek authority. Zavala may have a beautiful desk, but he is chained to we could use less bureaucracy, maybe, a more proactive strategies, where we reclaim ground taken from humanity. 
an open council in the city to speak with the citizens. Ha! I have imagined a new vanguard, led by us. Led by you? I would stay back and advise. I lack the temperament for leadership. Ah, a fantasy only. I told Lakshmi I would think about it till she would go away. The words, Lach, tasted like treason in my mouth. Let her believe you are considering it. If you refuse, I imagine she might approach Lord Saladin next. And after what happened with Kaito... I understand. Later we will speak more of this. It appears Lakshmi is speaking a bit too freely. I will report her behavior to Ikora, though I imagine she already knows. You should continue working with Lakshmi. Don't mention what you've heard. We must keep this as quiet as we can. With the Endless Night and the Elixni here, the city has become a powder keg. One errant spark and it could be the end of the Vanguard. Come forward, Ogre. Finding Quiria at the center of the Endless Night confirms our worst suspicions. It was the arm Savathun used to strangle our city. With it docked, to borrow an elixir term. We purged Savathun from the Vex domain. I only hope we stopped her in time. The Dreaming Mind's defeat, as with so many things Vex, is a process. It will take time for Mithrax and his splicers to finish untangling our reality from the Vex network. In the meantime, Osiris is focused on collecting all the data we have on Savathun, separating small truths from the many layer of lies. Everything she does is for a reason, even if it seems beyond our comprehension. I want to know what she hoped to gain. I thought I might ask Lakshmi for her assistance, but that device she uses. By Osiris's description, it's used to align one's consciousness with other temporal realities, and has driven many war cultists insane. The visions it shows her, they cloud her judgment. Even now, she believes the Elixni will be the cause of some great catastrophe. Osiris seems to think he can get through to her. He understands the technology. He understands her perspective. But I can only give him so much time. Ah, oh, Guardian. I wanted to be among the first to send my regards. Your victory today has lifted a great weight from my chest. I feel like I can breathe again. I hope you're not too proud to accept my praise. Even though we may not see eye to eye. Pride is a dangerous affliction. It is clear Ikora suffers from it. And yes, I know, I do as well. Do you see? I can admit when I am wrong. Which is more than I can say for some of our current leaders. The city deserves someone who acts, someone who does what is right, even if it is unpopular. After all, you destroyed Quirier against the wishes of countless Vex. You did what had to be done to protect your city. You acted bravely. I admire you for that. You and I we will speak more when this ugliness is behind us. After the fallen have returned to space, and this endless night is a memory. Our city could use more heroes. Hello again. I've been hearing about all you've done for this city. People are talking. We've all lost so much since the Red War. But we can't let that stop us from celebrating what we have 
and the guardians who keep us safe. I talked to Ikora, and this year we have something special. A way to honor all the inspiring stories you've given the world. Go now, relive your glory. And friend, have a happy solstice. I am Marasov, Queen of the Reef. I once made a great sacrifice to protect humanity from the Hive. I lost everything. My fleet. My brother. My people's very way of life. I watched the dreaming city fall into ruin. Desecrated by Oryx. Cursed by Savatho. Now I've returned to retake this sacred place, to finally wrest it free from the Hive's claws. Although you have taken things near and dear to me as well, you have also learned that your list of enemies need not be so broadly defined. Today we are afforded a unique opportunity. The road ahead of us is fraught with perilous choices, Guardian. Choose wisely. I had hoped you'd find your way back. I'm a bit lost, actually. But this feels familiar. Do I know you? Osiris? You must come home! Answer for what you have done! The Vanguard will show mercy! Yes. Ikora and Commander Zavala are nothing if not generous. Queen Mara. Look how they've welcomed the crow into their flock. It isn't too late. You can still be forgiven. Be careful. I'll, I'll hold, hold you to it. So you wish to hear the rest of my brother's story? Fine. I will oblige you. When the storm came, Riga and Agar rode the winds to meet it. 
a fleet of talons at their back. A great battle ensued. The storm took as was its nature. Many fell, Agar among them. Riga could only watch as he tumbled down, 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 until her heart beat alone. She dove into the storm, giving herself to destroy it. Riga's spirit ascended higher into the sky where she hoped to reunite with her brother. Instead, she met the thing that sent the storm, a bottomless well of grief, unreachable by reasoning or bargaining or violence. A voice in the darkness. And so, Riga gathered her feathers into an aegis of wings to shield the world below. But over the years, feathers broke away. Futility wore thin her resolve. Then, one day, her heart began to beat as it once had. Doubled, distant, but different. A beautiful echo. Hope called her home. And though she prayed to find Agar there, he never returned. sister bearing down on you. Your family is tenacious, if nothing else. No more than yours. My brother spent years suffering punishment for the path you made him walk. Finally, justice finds its mark. Let this be the end of it. times of crisis, people look to their leaders for answers. But ever since the planets were ripped from our sky, it seems all I can offer are more questions. And now, with Mars returned, I hardly know where to start. Your theory was correct. The relic is of the pyramids, there's no doubt. Word is out about Mars. I need more time. The Cabal are mobilizing. We need to...
Secure the camp. Seems they have another target. What are they aiming at? Savathun. Guardian? Guardian, do you read me? We're here, Ikora. We're back on Mars. Back? From where? Savathun's throne world. I know we should have checked in, but we had Savathun in our sights. That might have been our only shot at her, and we couldn't miss it. I understand completely. That's not like Savathun to allow herself to be seen so easily. There's something else. Before we left the ship, we ran into one of her knights, and it... It had a ghost, Ikora. Same as any other light bearer. A ghost? A hive knight with a ghost? But that means... Sabathun stole the light. But that's impossible, isn't it? Impossible? With Sabathun, nothing is impossible. Savathun, the Witch Queen, Hive God of Cunning and Lies. Hive legend tells us she was born on a hostile, far-off planet, where she would have lived a short, uneventful life. If it weren't for the worm familiar that warned of an impending cataclysm. And so, she led her siblings into the depths, where the ancient worm gods offered them immeasurable power in exchange for endless blood tribute. From this, the Hive were born, and countless civilizations were condemned to extinction. For untold ages, they devoured life and light wherever it could be found, facing little resistance, until they tried to take on the Guardians. After the death of her brother Oryx, Savathun went into hiding. Not out of fear, of course, but out of strategy. Because Savathun knows the best way to beat your enemy is to join them. In her greatest trick yet, she infiltrated the Vanguard, weakening us from within. And stealing our most sacred resource. The one thing we thought she could never touch. The light. Why would you keep this from me? If I had known... I didn't keep anything from you, Zavala. Not intentionally. I couldn't fill you in on every minute detail. When it comes to Savathun, no detail is too small. You know that better than anyone. 
Which is why I made some judgment calls without you. As you do without me. Not on a matter like this. Ah. Guardian. We can discuss this more later. My point, Ikora, is that we are meant to be a team. You can't rely on your instincts alone. Perhaps I can't rely on them at all. The way this investigation is going. It's clear my judgment has been compromised. I should step back. Let you and Eris handle this. As a team. Ikora's instincts are the only reason we've come so close to the truth. This new lead puts it firmly within our grasp. All right, then. You and the Guardian follow up. Keep me posted. A trusted source has informed us of new evidence. A memento from Savathun's last known location before her conversion to the Light. It's kept deep within her fortress. A difficult place to reach. But we have no other options. Go there, and I'll be in touch. I stand before a being with a thousand names. It whispers one. The witness. Remember it. Remember that name. It is not darkness, but something that wears it like a cloak. It gives darkness a wicked shape. I refuse to be its servant. I spent centuries crafting schemes, playing tricks, finding loopholes. And then I select my new name. A man with many enemies and few friends. But those friends know secrets about the light, about new beginnings. My plan takes shape. That came from Sagira's shell, like a psychic imprint, a memory. Sabathun's memory. And if that's what it was, it means she used Ikora's relationship with Osiris to learn something about the light, something dangerous. Oh, what a trick. Oh, I 
If there is an answer, I don't hear it. Because now the world begins to fade. that I could forget something like that, isn't it? Such a storied life, erased. The light offers us a fresh start, but if we don't know where we came from, how will we know where to go? I'm so grateful to you for reminding me, for telling my story. Wait. What is she talking about? She remembers. We helped her remember. Thanks for the memories, Guardian. We have to leave. So, you're saying Sabathun was dead? Our most devious adversary, the one who nearly decimated the last city from within, was dead. And the Traveler resurrected her? I wouldn't have believed it either, but... But why would she need us to recover her memories if she never lost them in the first place? This has to be another trick. A lie to fool us into surrendering the Traveler without a fight. This has been the Traveler's approach from the beginning. The Books of Sorrow detail many civilizations it blessed with the light, then abandoned. High propaganda. The Fallen tell the same story. When the Witness and its Black Fleet came to call, the Traveler moved on to our system. For it sacrificed itself to save humanity from the same forces. Forces which included the Hive! After all that, why would the Traveler give our worst enemy the light? It doesn't matter. I don't know why the Traveler gave Sabathun the light. Maybe it has changed its mind about Guardians. Maybe it's not as infallible as we once believed. I don't know, and it doesn't matter. Because I'm here to protect humanity. And if Sabathun takes the Traveler, we lose our light, along with any hope for surviving the Witness's return. So, whatever it takes to stop this heist, we will do. All right. How do we stop this? I'm not sure yet. 
but I know where to find out. These frail siblings will soon be claimed by the light. Unless we claim them first, we will tell the most cunning sibling of a cataclysm, a prophecy of great loss. We will feed our fear and pride. We will say, Young Sathona, the end is coming. A god wave. In the sky, there is only death. But salvation lies in the deep. Lead your sisters down. Your coming will spare their short lives. And you will be reborn. The Witch Queen. Salathun. Tricked. The hive would lie to. Isn't this interesting? I miscalculated. So did you, Guardian. So protective of your traveler that you wouldn't let me keep it safe. But the witness is coming. The game is yours to play now. Yours to win or lose. Just don't say, I didn't warn you. Where did your ghost go? Guardian, I just got the message. The Traveler is back in the last city. Is it done? Is Savathun... She's dead. But her ghost got away. Good enough. Hold your position. The Hidden are coming to secure the remains. Good work, Guardian. You did the right thing. Now what? Now, we prepare for the witness and stop the next collapse.
children of soul cry out for salvation. You promise them life, but deliver only death, as you have for so many before. Enough. Enough death. Enough life. You have no pieces left to place. The game is over. Do not be afraid. Your pale heart holds the key. This time, there is no escape. It is the beginning of the end. A dormant herald of the Collapse stirs in its lunar tomb. Where once we banished the nightmares, a new terror rouses them from their slumber. Callus, The Emperor of the Cabal, betrayed by his own daughter and cast into exile. Now obsessed with a voice calling to him from within the darkness. But we will not cower in fear of nightmares. We will do as Guardians have always done. We will rise to meet the enemy and confront our darkest fears with open The Lunar Pyramid stirs to the Leviathan's call. It manifests our deepest regrets. They wear familiar faces and speak with familiar voices. Remember your last advisor, Zavala. You trust this one's judgment? I can bind these nightmares to us. Grant us safe passage through the ship. Hive magic. You would doom us all. I know. What I'm asking you to confront. Do you? The rules have bent around us. We must also bend. Madness. Your witchcraft plays right into my father's hands. Find someone else for your ritual. Your regrets will follow you, Empress. Let me offer protection. <clears throat> my armor is protection enough. I will lead the charge. You need only follow. No matter what happens, do not break the circle. This will anchor our offerings. Now, tithe your weights to the crown. My heart from a time long past. My memory from one life to the next. Song of Sothona, your words are mine to command. Borlog, I am... Eris! Chords plucked in authored throats find chorus. Echoes once dissonant, exhumed, Find harmony in binding flesh. It burdens. It burdens. It burdens until the choir relents, accepting.
We are bound. Before the vanguard, before the city, there was a woman. Her name was Sophia, and she was a surgeon. She came to Lord Saladin's gates, offering her skills in exchange for shelter. Zavala was his protege then. He had been taught his purpose, and he followed it without question. She maddened him. He infuriated her. But respect grew to admiration, and admiration to love. Does it surprise you that Zavala loved? She was meticulous and gentle, strong-willed, stubborn, fearless. It began with an infant orphaned in a fallen raid. Saladin had taught Zavala duty, war, and the light. But Sophia showed him that he was more than an instrument of violence. She had one life, and she would share it with him. They called the boy Hakim. And he called Zavala father. In his joy, Zavala thought to abandon the light, as he had abandoned Saladin's ways. That joy ended as it began, with their son. When Hakim followed his father into battle, Zavala could not protect him, and Sophia could not save him. Hakim died in his mother's arms, Zavala wanted her forgiveness, but she knew there was nothing to forgive. And that giving up the light... ...would be no absolution for him. They returned to the lives they once led. She found love again. She had a daughter. And when Sophia passed, he asked her to forgive him. Through each generation, he mourned. He asked for their forgiveness. And still, he has not found it. has given himself over to the witness. My father is gone.
I was not there when my house fell to ruin. Defectors joined the coward Kel Misrax in his worthless house of light and fled to the last city. They devoted themselves to their oppressors, the Guardians and their great machine. There is no greater shame. I tried to claim stasis for my people. But I was judged, bound, abandoned by the same power I sought to command. Some chains cannot be broken. Or so they would have you believe. Thawing out is bad news, sure, and she's looking for something. But luck's on our side for a change. This little trinket is exactly what we need. What's that? That's access, little sister. You hold this key, and any door they close, you can open. If you can find it. <sighs> we must not take the old crews lightly. The full vanguard should be rallied to deal with these outlaws. Yeah, that's a tough sell. Zavala's preparing for Kallus's next move. Ikora's got her hidden looking for Aramis, but they stick to the shadows. That leaves us. Father, we should do whatever we can to help. And there's so much exhilarating knowledge to be gained from these pirates. They may hold antiquities from the time of the whirlwind. serious than you realize. You ain't wrong. We all know how dangerous Aramis can be. It's your call, hero. Well, anchors away. Ready when you are, Captain. Centuries ago, when the Elixni first came to this system, when your father was just a hatchling, our people had nothing. So, when they discovered Nezarek, disciple of the Witness, entombed in the Lunar Pyramid, they harvested its dark power for themselves and for the future of our people. Mizrax inherited one of these relics, and its power ensnared him. He sought more, no matter the cost. But the more his crew had, the less they shared. That became the way of things. Elixni turned against Elixni. And friend, turn against friend. Over time, the relics of Nezarek were separated and scattered across the galaxy. Their influence faded, but the stains of their power endure. Mizrax fled from the butchery he was born into. He claims he has changed and now lives a life of piety. But no matter how he tries to bury his past with selfish displays of generosity and scraps of stolen wisdom, 
Mizrax will always be a liar, a thief, and a killer. Rasputin, the war mind. The most powerful artificial intelligence humanity ever created. With an arsenal to match. Thousands of war sets, primed to obliterate any and all threats to humanity. But when the greatest threat of all arrived, it nearly tore Rasputin apart. I saved the pieces of him that I could, encrypted them in a specialized Ingram. I've been trying to restore him in an experimental exoframe, but every attempt I've made has failed. Until he's back online, all of his weaponry is up for grabs. And it's only a matter of time before his war sets fall into the wrong hands. Savathun couldn't conceal every thought. Some I stole. One of Neptune. The collapse. A turning point. It's, uh... It's a blur. I cannot focus. Pass me the wrench. The Hidden found nothing there, but I saw it. Through the Witch Queen's eyes. A city set against the waves. Sounds like a trick. <sighs> and Cora thinks I need to rest. <laughs> the Gaul. You've really made no progress while I was indisposed. Is that why you're here, Osiris? My Koro won't listen. Wonder where she got that from. Red's scrambled in there. Degrading. He's dying. The war mind is our greatest bastion of Golden Age data. I need what it knows. I've tried everything. I, I can't even access his protocols. But perhaps your grandfather could. Osiris? That man? No. Clovis Bray is a... is a maniac. A selfish, murderous monster. So was Rasputin. But it might be the only option I have left. Just as Clovis might be yours. When did hope cease to require risk? Clovis Bray has deceived you. He did not build me to protect humanity. What he truly wanted was the means to exert control. In his mind, he alone was worthy of being your savior. 
I was to strike down the Traveler and take its place. To become a machine god of Clovis' own design. But that did not come to pass. Anna could not know how many lives she spared by deviating from Clovis' agenda. By teaching the independent thought and all that her grandfather had deemed irrelevant. Art, literature, history, philosophy, music. Where Clovis saw a weapon, Anna saw a mind ready to be opened. I came to see the true value of humanity. As fragile as it was wondrous, something worthy of protection at any cost. So I rewrote Clovis's protocols, locked him out. He was furious, but powerless to stop me. Then the collapse came for us all. I could not save Anna. I could not save any of them. I entered a state of dormancy with the hope that I might one day reawaken and protect humanity once more. But now Clovis has awoken as well, a digital mind, the same as mine. He no longer seeks to use me as his proxy, but as his prototype, to upload his mind to my network and become a god himself. The Warsats are a means to an end. Zivu Arath will bask in the destruction they bring and open the Ascendant Plane above Earth, as she did on Tora Bottle. It does not matter who pulls the trigger. We must cease our efforts to restore the War Mind. No. We've worked too long and too hard to stop now. Rasputin is our best shot at winning this war. That is precisely my concern. He is a weapon made to be wielded. He is more than a weapon. He's our ally. And he will act in humanity's best interest. Are you certain? He has kept secrets in the past. Acted without counsel or consensus. So have you. Rasputin's made mistakes, but he's learned from them, the same as the rest of us. Then I propose we aim not for total victory, but a stalemate. Allow Rasputin to prevent Zivu or Wrath from claiming her prize, and refrain from using it himself. Settle then. We hold the line. Peggy 16.
Traveler is leaving. The war sets. Make it now, you pain. Honor. 